Good day, everybody. My name is Donny Credo. Thank you for joining us back again. We've got Crystal behind the camera again this evening. Say hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Hello. So, today, we're back. Now, we've had a little bit of time off over Christmas, and I'm sure you can tell by my voice, I'm not quite, you know, as good as I was once. So, I'm still getting the better. We'll be back to full, full capacity, full output, you know, one video whenever the hell we feel like it soon enough. Today, Krista, would you mind telling the lovely people at home what we've got? The good stuff. The good stuff. We yeah. have got from Nickapods.online. This video is sponsored by them. Feel free to pop over to them. We'll put a link down in the description below. Good guys, good product. We have got Nordic Spirit Spearmint Intense. <sighs> <laughs> so we have got Nordic Spirit Spearmint Intense Nicotine Pouches. Now, this is only a two dot on the scale of doom. Of doom. Doom. Finish him. Doom. Yes, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the scale of doom. Oh, no, I went a bit too deep then, eh? Yeah. Because we've only got two, typically we do the strongest stuff. This one, I believe, is a six milligram proportion? Yes. Is it? Yeah. It's either a six or a nine, I think. Yeah, six. No, six milligram proportion, nine milligram per gram. Yeah. That's it. So it's kind of a, it's a little bit lower than the stuff we usually review, but I've already had a few and it's pretty bloody tasty. Mm. Let's get a little bit of ASMR. Come on, get nice and close, nice and close. Where is it? Oh, oh, oh. oh. All white. Beautiful can. And I'll be honest, this stuff does not suffer from the same thing that a lot of Nordic Spirit does. Because both myself and Krista have reviewed Nordic Spirit before. It's actually one of our most trending things, according to Google Analytics on the site, was the uh, Wild Berry. Mm. And one thing that I found with that, and the mint portions, because they had the very specifically designed can there, didn't they? They had yes. the, uh, it looked like white wood almost on the stick. Yes. They both kind of smelled a bit like popcorn. Or wood. Plant. Yeah, like it, it wasn't even like like plant. It was it was the smell of like popcorn kernels. Yeah. Like like warm popcorn kernels. Not quite popping, but not not cold either. It was, it was a really really weird smell. And the fact that it happened on both the mint and the bergamot and wild berry. Yeah. We were we were a bit freaked out. But it, I I didn't understand really what was going on there. But this oh. stuff, you open it. You just smell spearmint. It's beautiful. Go on, Chris. So get your nose on in there, sir. Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, on. We're done with the camera. Yep. All right, pass it, mate. Come here. No, that's okay. Come here. Come here. Smell that can. Smell that can. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Here we are. Oh, soft mints. Mm, it's the good shit, bro. It's the tree ball. It's the good shit, brother. Oh, oh, I've reached for it. Any, any, no, no, Krista. This is a partnership. This is how <laughs> we're supposed to share. It is time. I'm taking one. I'll take one for the team. There's one for you. We'll throw them in. We'll let the flavour develop a little bit. And while we're doing that, we'll talk about the can and the smell, okay? Oh, yes. Ready? On the count of three. Dink it. Go. And sink it. Internet cookies, if you know where that's from. Because <laughs> I can tell you for a fact we didn't come up with it. No. So, the can. It's clean, it's white, it's pretty. Okay. It's naughty spirit. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's plain white can. I don't know what, I don't know what you want of me, man. Not opaque though. Yeah, no, it is opaque rather than the, transparent. Yeah, I'm looking for like the um, screw, the Zonex. Yeah, plain white opaque can. You know, it's, it's, it's a can and it? it's functional. It's not one of the cans that I I like. It's not one where I go, oh, you know what, that is a good can, a good yeah. design. It just says Nordic Spirit Spearmint Intense Nicotine Pouches. Good font. Good font. It's it's clear. To clear. Me. You yeah. can tell what it is. I didn't know what it was at first because it's different from the. Um, the standard cans with the logo on it. Yeah, so we'll put to... some up here. Yeah, so we get like a. We've already done a review, so we'll have a little yeah. picture flowing here. Chris to do the thing. There we are. Yeah. Throw a mint one up there. Just. <laughs> uh, I hate to think what he's going to do in the edit now. I got the, the animators. The animators are on standby. Oh Jesus Christ! Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, the can's nice and basic. It it just tells you what it is. Really, it's spearmint. Yeah. It's mint, it's an oil spirit, and it's got a strength, you know? And I kind of like that. I, I don't like it as much as, as Lyft, where they've got the nice clear bottom on them, so you can just kind of flip your can over and be like, oh, I've got five portions there. The smell is, 
like I said, it lacks that, that popcorn-y smell that Nordic Spirit usually yes. gets. It doesn't ruin the experience, but it's weird. It puts you off at first yeah. until I know what it is. Particularly when it was the, the, I think the first one we had was Bergamot on Wildberry, and we, we opened it up, we got a few portions out, we had a little smell of the can before we threw them in, and we were like, that doesn't smell like, like Bergamot on Wildberry. Where are we? Yes. Yeah. It's like, on the, on the scale of flavour to smell, like you've got Siberia that smells like chemicals and tastes like chemicals, don't badmouth the Siberian. <laughs> I'm not badmouthing it, it's just a fact, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you got the uh, the Russian stuff that smells like death and tastes like death. <laughs> Accurate, I would know. That got... will never be released. Oh yeah, that, there, there have been pictures, there have been screen caps of that that we've posted here and there. We are never releasing that video, no, ever. Yeah. Keep for own personal use. Yeah, more like if anyone got, if anyone ever sends us a like a, a message on Twitter or something saying, "Hey, what's your opinion on this Russian snow thing?" I will send you the video in full. That's the only time it's ever getting publicly yeah. released ever, and it will be privately to an individual person at a time. Three minutes, I had one in, and I was three on, and a half minutes. Yes, three and a half minutes. I was on the ground stroking the fluffy carpet. Whilst you can feel your legs or your hands. Yeah, literally can feel legs, can feel hands. Vision started going a bit dark. And that, uh, I like my strong snooze as well. You know that for a yeah. fact. I do Siberia, man. <laughs> oh, dude. But yeah, back to the topic at hand. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, it was weird, wasn't it, with the, the first time we ever tried Nordic Spirit, because you smell the popcorn and you're like, I'm sorry, this ain't mint. So, I'm, I'm glad that they've got rid of that. That's no longer a thing. I'll pass this over to you for one more smell, so with your yep. free hand. Okay. And hold this here, you know, branding. I mean, hey, if this is a sponsored video and we're going to go a little bit OTT, can you just have a, like a Nickapods logo just flash in here? Oh, yes. This video has been sponsored by Nickapods.online. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it's nice to not have that smell. It actually smells like what you're expecting yes. it to taste like, which is bloody good for a change. On flavour now, we've let them develop. What do you think? Bubbles under. It's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. so but it's there. Yeah, in the it's, background. Like, it's a little bit of taste, but it's it's more it's more of like a sweet sort of like a soft mints for those in the yeah. UK. Tree ball soft mints, the chewy ones, very much like those. In my see, I think like soft mints are even stronger than this. But now I've got a few in. It just it's a little bit of a <coughs> of mint, and then you sort of get that sweetness behind it. Yeah, right. You're left with a sweet taste on the tongue, and your mouth feels a bit cold. But not like not like Siberia where you lick it like a Siberia and you're like <laughs> ice, you know. Toothpaste. Like, again, like toothpaste yeah. is strong. Beverly Hills. Have you ever had the Beverly Hills formula toothpaste? Yes. It. Tastes kind of like that. Yes. Like the, the, the weak mint. Yeah. But it's like, but it's a bit sweet. Yes. Bloody good though. Pleasant as hell. Oh yeah. Well, it's... if hell can be pleasant. <laughs> Man, I'm going there in every religion, so I'll find a way to make it pleasant. I'll let you know. <laughs> but so it's surprising. It's definitely a session snooze. Yeah. A session nickapod, I should say. Yeah. But I, I you know, I call everything snooze at this point. Yeah. It's like, like a Hoover. Roll it up, stick it up between my lip and my gum. I call that snooze. It's like Hoover and Xerox. It's a, it's a kind of a, a catch-all term. Yeah. I know we've had contact from people who said this isn't. What you said yeah, is. this isn't snooze, this isn't a nicopod, this isn't this, this isn't dry, this isn't yeah. white. And I'm like, yeah, but at the end of the day, it's all snooze, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we should really be the picky ones being the snooze lords. Yeah. Whereas really, if anything, I think I think, I think think us and the snoobies should have a little swap around over here, if I'm honest with yeah. you. Because I think if anything, we're the snoobies and he's the snooze lord. Yeah. I think, to be fair, he is the snooze god. He knows everything. The nicopod knights? <laughs> works for me, works for me. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, with channel rebrand, we are now the Nickapod Knights, sponsored by Nickapods. The <laughs> uh, domain name. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to do a big shout out, by the way, to Jack Ford, <laughs> who might well be watching this when it gets released, because he asked me about it in work today. Ah. So, yeah. You never know, mate, you never know. Fordy, we love you. Sardy. <laughs> oh. um. All right. Uh, Nickapods. <laughs> Nickapods, yes, review, um, job. Paying the rent, yes. So, this being a, a six per a six per portion, a nine per gram. Yeah. It's. I mean, I've got three in really. I can't really give it an accurate portrayal. <laughs> um, original mid strength. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's 
it's good, you know? Like, yeah. It's one of those where I'm just gonna continue to say it's good because it's good. It's functional. Yeah. But at the same time, you want something that's just gonna taste all right, gives you a bit of nicotine, you're quite happy. I'd say like a, a good six and a half, seven out of, out of 10 yeah. on my rating for this, because it's, it's session, it's, it's a standard, you know, if you don't know what to go for, if, like, if you're new to Nicopods and Snooze, go to nicopods.online. That's a good start, to be honest. That's a good entry yeah. level. This is a really good entry level Snooze. It's, it's, the nicotine is like, eh, it's all right. <laughs> but like for someone new to this, it, you'd probably get a nice little rush off it because Nicopods release quite quickly as well compared to yes. traditional Snooze, don't they? Where you get, you get like your whole nicotine and flavor out in about maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe 45 in a push. Yeah. Compared to, you know, like a white dry snooze that take an hour, an hour and a half. Yeah. And some, and some change. <laughs> uh, but yeah, nonetheless, good stuff. I've rated it six and a half, seven out of 10. Krista. I got about seven, seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half. So you like it a little bit more than I do. Yeah, you? it's, it's perf my preferable Nordic spirit now is that. Anyway, I have been Donnie Credo. That has been Krista Halverson. Say goodnight to the good people. Goodnight to the good people. Goodnight to the good people. Ta-da.